Welcome to the Experience and Next Podcast, episode number 35. The title of the episode is How to Land the Job You've Always Wanted and Live a Life of Your Dream. In this episode, I share with you all the strategies and moves you need to take to land your dream job on your own terms and live life the i mean the life you desire while performing at your peak let me take that again in this episode i share with you all the strategies and moves you need to make to land your dream job on your own terms and live the life you desire while performing at your peak life is full of experiences and it's good you live, I mean, you learn from the experience of others. And Poludo, the creator of Okna, a Facebook group with about, with over 13,500 members from all over the world. Okna stands for Online Course Creators Community for Newbies and Advanced Beginners. I'm also the best, I'm also best known as the creator of Book Writing Clinic and IBMC, where I show aspiring and experienced authors and online entrepreneurs how to create intellectual properties and succeed online in today's creator economy. What you will learn in this episode, we cover the overview, requirements for a dream job, strategies for a dream job, executing your plan, going for your dream job, setting Settling in at your dream job, living your dream life, and your end game. The great Chinese general, military strategist, and Taoist, Taoist philosopher Sun Tzu said, The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. I personally like the version that says, a general desirous of victory makes many calculations in his temple before the battle. To win in life, you must have the desire to prefer to prevail at anything you are bent on doing, no matter the odds. John H. Johnson captures this inner game very succinctly in his autobiography, Succeeding Against the Odds. I urge you to get a copy of this book. It's the book that transforms my thinking about success. As a greenhorn starting my career, I never knew I could ask for anything I wanted to get. I thought good people accept what the society, government, politicians, organizations, and corporations throw at them. I never knew I could demand from life what I wanted. I believe you live life the way life is. The way life is is, is this. You are born, you grow up, do what everybody does, walk, marry, grow old, die, and then you are forgotten. Never to be heard of again. It's sad, but that's life. You must live above the masses. You must think bigger. You must have lofty ambition if you want to be impactful. That was the mentality I was ingrained with as I grew up. So I never questioned anything that was thrown on my path. That's the mentality that got me into a government corporation where I toiled away for donkey years without a promotion. And because I was stagnating, when the corporation was clobbered to death by corruption, fraud, and stealing, I got thrown out. And I got thrown out. The next, I mean, the next company that consider, considered me for a job thought they were doing me a favor. I was given the lowest grade they could imagine, 
not minding, had over 10 years solid experience, had become a chartered banker. Indeed, I was a proud alumni of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of England and Wales, as it was then called. One of the most prestigious and revered professional bankers training institutes in the world. Indeed, I had qualified as a chartered banker, as I said, but it did not matter. It didn't matter. A new bank that employed me had 12 year layers, I mean, grade levels, and they offered me the third grade from the bottom. And I didn't ask. I didn't question their decision. Indeed, I felt I owed them a gratitude for giving me another lease on life in the first place. But I'm here to tell you that you are entitled to live life on your own terms. You are entitled to demand from life what you deserve. I trust and I believe I am convinced you deserve more. You work so hard. You spend years in the primary school, spend more years in college, spend at attended university, and came out in flying colors, and you are the driven type. You've added one, two, or three more professional qualifications and certifications to your name as a chartered accountant, banker, a certified engineer, HR, IT specialist. Yes, you further enriched your curriculum vitae by attending company-sponsored implant and open enrollment training courses, some in Ivy League schools like Walton, Harvard, Yale. Maybe you've even added an MBA and a PhD to your collection. Maybe you are even a professor. Don't you think you deserve more? Believe it or not, you deserve much more. This podcast is on how to learn the job you have always wanted and living the life of your dream is designed to guide you to your dream job and your dream life. A dream job is a type that enables you, enables coins to clang in your pocket as George S. Clayson writes in his book, The Richest Man in Babylon. It is a type of job that enables you to live in any part of the city that you choose. Join any club you want. Take your wife, kids, and loved ones on vacation to exotic places. Eat the type of food you crave. In short, live life on your own terms. Yet, remain humble. I'm not talking about utopia. Don't be scared that what I'm talking about will be or is too hard. Don't be deceived that you need an Oxford, Harvard, Wharton degree to execute what I'm talking about. Indeed, what I'm talking about is so uncannily simple that anyone can actualize his or her dream of landing a mouth-watering job made in heaven. But I must warn you, must warn you that you must be willing to pay the price to earn that price. If you don't, you may end up in a bad place like I did or end up with 104 billion as Steve Balmer as at 2023. He started off as Bill Gates assistant. Let's consider what you need to do to learn your dream job and live your life and live your dream life. This episode on landing the job you've always wanted and living a life of your dream is for those who have no desire to go into business on their own. If you are one of those, this is for you. You are what we call the corporate type, a die-hard professional. There's nothing wrong with that. If I had known what I'm about to share with you right now, some 30 years ago, 
I probably would be would not be writing this because I would be sitting Campari on Necker Island with my loved ones. I would have been willing to pay any price to get this information, but I was not lucky. What I got were bland advice and recommendations how to be more assertive, how to prepare a CV, how to dress well, and how to answer interview questions. Some will even teach you how to ask your interviewer good questions. None of these or tactics will give you a dream job. Read on or listen on if you are ready to go for your dream job and live the life you always wanted. I will try to summarize, otherwise this episode may become too long. Requirements for a dream job. Legend has it that when Nigeria's foremost philanthropist, a proponent of African capitalism, and billionaire entrepreneur with footprints in financial services, hotels and hospitality, oil and gas and health services. Tony Elumelo wanted his first job. He did what many job applicants of his generation never did. He crafted a well-articulated application letter, attached it to his CV, and had it, had it delivered by DHL. So the legend goes to the MD CEO office, Target Bank. This Target Bank was all state trust bank. Then, one of Nigeria's most respected high-flying second generation banks. Toy, that is the nickname, Tony Lumelo, got the job. Today, Toy sits at top, one of the biggest franchises in all of Africa, United Bank for Africa with operations in 22 countries, in boasting $1.7 trillion in total assets. You see, going by the employment criteria set by Allstate's All State Human Resources Department, Toy did not qualify for the job. But Toy defied conventional thinking and got the job ahead of others, more qualified on paper, and became highly favored by the bank's founder, Chief Vitimi Banigo, because he proved very mature, wise, and confident. Toy did not run to his governor, senator, or house of rep, or local government chairman for a letter of introduction. Toy did not send a CV to a professional CV writer to rewrite it for pe uh, to perfection. Toy didn't pray and fast for one month. Maybe he did in private, but this is what I know Toy did differently. These are the requirements for a dream job. Self-belief, mindset of a winner, abundance mentality. Self-belief is the absolute conviction that you deserve the best the world has to offer. Self-belief is the confidence that you don't have to know the sultan, the emir, the president to get what you deserve. If you don't deserve, have self-belief, then no other thing matters because it's the foundation of greatness. Mindset of the winner is a self-directed drive that you can achieve anything you want if you set your mind to it. Winners take action. And losers engage in thinking, planning, and analysis paralysis. Abundance mentality is the deep notion that there is enough for everyone. And you are getting and you are getting what you want and deserve does not prevent others from getting what they want and rightly deserve. People with abundance mentality ask for what they want and the world gives it to them. It's a metaphysical law. Ask and you will receive. Strategies for a dream job. Strategies for a dream job. As Sun Tzu admonished, you need to carry out many calculations in your temple 
to get the job done and dusted. Strategy is a woolly concept, but you need strategies in spade to guide your movement from here to there as you set out to crack the code for a dream job. The strategies for a dream job, as you can discern, have what we call the beginning game, the middle game, and the end game. We have covered the beginning game, which has to do with psychology. If your psychology is wrong, you won't get a dream job, and you will not be able to live your dream life. Let's look at the middle game. You have a solid self-belief. You've programmed your mindset as a winner, and your mentality is that of abundance. This is the time to put strategies in place to get that dream job you know you desire. These are strategies you will adopt in the middle game. Number one, decide the criteria for your dream or your dream, your winner's life. Two, Visualize the type of life you are living 30 years from now. Assume it. Visualize the type of job that will give you that life. Number four, research the companies that match the universe of your dream, of your ideal candidates. Number five, pick three companies that align with your core values and dig deeper. Number six, Approach the founder, MD, or at least the HR director, and let him or her know your worth and what you are bringing to the table. Let's explore these ideas very briefly. Decide your criteria for your dream life. Your dream life may be a stunning yacht, a pristine private island, where you could escape now and then to be with nature, or a cabin in the forest, or any place of your choice. Include the amount of wealth you wish to accumulate. Let your criteria, criteria be ennobling, but be bold. It's your life. Brief stop or a introduction about myself and what we do. Hi, I'm Paul Udo. After 25 years or over 25 years in the banking industry, I said goodbye to banking and founded Vision and Talent Training Group and began a career as a training consultant in 2010. Today, we work with some of Nigeria's biggest financial institutions, manufacturing and oil and gas companies, some of them Fortune 500 companies. In 2015, I founded Bull Writing Clinic, BWC, to help aspiring authors tell the world their stories and make their dreams of becoming a published author a reality. In 2020, I founded IBMC, Internet Business Mastery Course, where I teach business people and aspiring online entrepreneurs how to set up their online businesses the right way. Altogether, 700 more than 700 candidates have registered for BWC and IBMC. It's now your turn. I'm inviting you to register. Go to my website, poluduk.com, and register. Now, back to the episode. Visualize the type of life you are living 30 years from now. Assume you are living the life. See in your mind's eye your ideal home, family, car, friends, neighborhood, and all the other details. Remember, nothing happens by accident. You have to design the life you want. The secret is to know where you want to end up, not where you are starting. Visualize the type of job that will give you that life. Why chase a rabbit if you can chase an antelope? A billionaire once told me when starting out, you must decide the type of money you want to make and go for it. I could not believe my ears then. Research the companies that match the universe of your ideal candidates. 
All companies are not born equal. Annually, Fortune magazine comes up with the list of the most admired companies and the best companies to work for. Be careful the companies you pick. Pick three companies that align with their core values and dig deeper. Here, you want to find out if the industries they are in are expanding, such as aerospace, genomics, or declining, such as traditional banking, oil and gas. You want to know the values of the founders, their attitude to their diversity, environment, and compensation. Approach the founder, MD, or at least the lowest, the HR director, and let him or her know your worth and what you are bringing to the table. This is one of the most critical aspects of preparing for a dream job. You are not approaching the founder, MD, or HR director because you graduated from Yale or Stanford or Cambridge, though it helps but because you have a secret weapon that will take them to the next level. Do you have one or two patents under your belt? What will what you worked on while, I come again, will what you worked on while in school have the leverage to skyrocket their earnings? Be solid and have something to offer. No one is interested in your designer suit. Executing your plan. Execute your plan with boldness, guile, and agility. Your solid self-belief, the mindset of a winner you have developed, and the abundance mentality you have grown accustomed to have all primed you for execution. My friend, go for it. This is where your network comes in. Some people begin with networking without knowing the requirement for a dream job and the requisites, strategies for a dream job. This is a recipe for failure, disaster, and disgrace. This is putting the cat before the horse. Don't disgrace yourself, your family, and your half-earned degrees. Execute with intelligence. Take un I mean, talk only to people that can help you. If your parents cannot help you, don't talk to them. If they can, do. What good things have you done in the past? What good things have your parents done in the past? Or to, uh, and to whom? This is the time to harvest you are good deeds. Olumide Soyombo, the angel investor and venture capitalist, captures this succinctly in his book, Vantage. The founder of Bridge Clinic, one of the world's preeminent in vitro fertilization clinics, Dr. Richardson Ajayi, shared on experience annex that his father who was also a renowned medical doctor, was his role model, and had amassed goodwill with tens of friends before he died. When it came to time to set up Bridge Clinic, it was a matter of tapping into his father's network and goodwill, built over a lifetime to raise capital to get going. This is my personal story to guide you. Once I approached a French mentor and a senior colleague to lead a high-end training program I packaged. He looked at me in the eyes and told me he was not the right person to promote the program. And then he did this. He reached into his laptop bag, brought out his complimentary card, scribbled something on it, and handed it to me to take to a contact at a Fortune 
500 company. To cut a long story short, that card opened doors. I mean, not just doors, but wide bankable doors to that company. To execute with intelligence, execute as if your life depends on this activity, because it does. Having pursued all leads on earth, all the nuggets you need and gathered all the vital clues that ensures you can't fail, it's time to go for your dream job. Going for your dream job. You have prepared for this moment ever since you were in college. You have mastered the art of negotiation. You have mastered the industry and your target company. Indeed, every executive in the target company knows you by your first name. You know that they need you more than you need them because they are all aware that at least three headhunters have spoken with you in the past 30 days. You are there to negotiate your salary, not a job interview. You see what I mean? Employment law requires that you attend an interview. That's why you are going through the formality. Everyone in the room seated at the interview panel have seen and studied your CV. They can't wait for you to join their gang. You wouldn't want someone with a secret weapon to take their company to the, uh, that can take their company to the next level to swell their share option and end of year bonuses. Um, can I take that again? Who wouldn't want someone with a secret weapon to take their company to the next level to swell their share options and end of year bonuses? So going for your dream job has very little to do with your CV than it has to do with the subterranean influences of returning favors built over a lifetime. The ignorance wastes time polishing their CV, attending networking events, which just makes them a commodity. Whereas those with wisdom who follow the, who follow the strategies I share here do the entire opposite. They learn the job first before writing a CV. At the interview, ensure you are, I mean, you bargain hard for the signing bonus you desire. The starting pay and compensation that will bring you on board and the division you want to work in and the executive you want to work with. You control all the aces. Bring out your hidden guns and you have, I mean, you have not yet made public or shared with anyone except the MD and the executive you want to work with. Set a clear expectation when you expect to be promoted. Set your performance criteria yourself and set it so high they will think you are mad. When you do that, the chairman of the interview panel will say, yes. I believe you have a point. The MD and the executive you want to work with will concur. The discussion will come to a close and you are in. Certainly in at your dream job. You have skyrocketed expectations and you have to deliver. The first 100 days are crucial. Let everyone see you and you are true worth. You must effortlessly produce more than 10 times what others produce. And what you produce must be visible and must also be visible as a, and you must also be visible as a person. Though you, you, though you must move with grace and humility, this is not the time to be timid. Contribute to all new ideas and projects. Set the agenda where the company should be going two, five, seven years from now. Build bridges to other divisions and departments. Get to know their agenda and effortlessly key into them 
If you think what I'm sharing with you here is a figment of my imagination, read the Jack Welch story and how his boss, boss, his boss's boss persuaded him not to leave GE and how he eventually became the CEO and chairman of GE in nine, and in 1999 was crowned the manager of the century by Fortune magazine. Living your dream life. Living your dream life happens by design, as I've already said. As Steve Jobs once emphasized, people think about design in terms of how it looks, but it's actually how it works. You can't live your dream life if you get thrown out after two years because a new government came to power or a new CEO who thinks the company should go in a different direction came on board. You have to plan for those eventualities in advance. This is an area a very few people know about and it's closely and it's a closely guarded secret. This is what you need to know and do. Ensure your contract is signed, sealed, and delivered to you, and a copy kept in the right files, electronic or otherwise, in the corporation. Ensure your contract is discussed and approved by the board, and the board's resolutions duly communicated to you in writing. Let a top law firm confirm its sacrosanct and there are no hidden landmines anywhere. Reject anything that is ambiguous. Get a fresh contract with no ambiguity. With this last element in place, you have nothing to worry about. The most celebrated elites on the planet have what is called prenuptial agreement. When Jeff Bezos amicably parted ways with his ex-wife, Mackenzie, she got a tiny $39 billion. So ensure you get your prenuptial in place as you start the job to ensure living your dream life is not truncated down the line. My friend, Joseph Kunz, not real name, had a prenuptial when he got his last job. The contract was signed, sealed, and delivered. He stipulated what he, he would deliver. The company had been running at a loss for over 10 years, and he contracted to turn things around, run the company profitably, subject to pro the, the proviso that if he exceeds certain profit levels, he would be entitled to 10% above the excess. My friend got $2.17 million after five years as his parting gift and is now living his dream life. Your end game. Again, you have thought about your end game from the gate go. You have designed your life and you have managed the wealth you, you have accumulated over the, the years with dexterity, professionalism, and wisdom. You are sober and God-fearing. You are a winner. Your end game is to live when the ovation is loudest. A typical career today may last three to five years before you move on to something else more interesting. Move regularly using the exact same templates I've shared with you here. If you love what you do, like working with NASA or Singularity University or Oxford, who knows, you may decide to stay for as long as you wish because you want to impact humanity. So everyone's end game will be different. For you, let it not end in regrets. When the end comes by age 60 or 65, let it be with the beginning of new mountains to climb. 
at all times think only of your legacy. Let it be worth writing home about. Your life's journey. Always dream of taking nothing but pictures and leaving nothing but footprints. Live a life of gratitude. Be grateful for your good life. Remember, as Rumi said, gratitude is the wine of the soul. Go on, get drunk. This is the end of the episode. I believe the episode has given you clarity on how to learn the job of your dream. Your dream life will, I mean your dream job will not just fall on your laps. Go out and look for it using the strategies and the templates you have learned here. Be consistent, persistent, and believe in yourself. Subscribe to the channel if you find it valuable. See you in the next episode.